Hello guys, welcome to R Programming Tips. In this video, we will learn how to build a stack bar chart in R and we'll be building this graph between two variables from empty cars. One will be cylinder and the other one is gear. To build a stack bar chart, you first need the frequency table between these two variables. So to create that, I'm going to make use of function called table which gives you a frequency so I'm gonna pass both my variables as an argument to these this table function gear once I have done that if I now use if I let me show you what's there in free object which I have created so you can see that there is a frequency table which represents the values of cylinder and gear number of records between cylinder and gear now all you need to do is to draw the stack bar chart all you need to do is bar, bar plot and pass this object this table in that so if you see you now have a stack bar chart now this looks very dull chart uh, we have not changed any aesthetics there is no title to this chart there is no X label so let's go ahead and uh, add the title and the X label to this chart and also try to change the color of this stack bar chart we will also add a legend so that it gets easy for us to understand what each block in this let's say light gray and dark gray color represents so to add the title I'm gonna make use of main and I'm gonna say distribution of cylinder and gears now I'm gonna add X label so to add the X X axis label we use X label and I'm gonna say number of gears and to change the color because there are three colors so the argument is col and I'm gonna use green dark green and light green now let's add the legend so legend is basically represents the row row names here so I'm gonna say row names freak now if I'm gonna run select all these lines and press control enter you will see that now we have our stack bar chart we have our legend we have our X labels and we also have the title for this graph so you can see that building a bar plot especially stack stack bar plot is very easy in this and if you don't want to have a stack bar plot and you want to have bars to be sideways all you can do is you need to will copy this and there is another argument called besides is equal to true and if I select this and I run it you will see that now the bars are coming sideways besides each other I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, please share this with your friends and subscribe to our channel.